Well, I, I grew up in a city called Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Um, Tar Heel fan. Um, uh, it's uh, located just north of uh, Fairville, North Carolina, Fort Brad. Uh, that's how I try to make people kind of realize where Rocky Mount is located, centralized. And um, it was an amazing uh, community to, I think it helps set the tone for my, where I'm at today. I see. And what was your connection, education to military? Tell me about that. Uh, my uh, former wife was uh, in the U.S. Army, and her MOS was Nike. And so her um, training took place when they used to host uh, the soldiers out on Redstone Austin. Okay. So you came with your family uh, because of your wife's obligations to the Huntsville area? Correct. What did you think when you got here from Huntsville, Madison County? Well, um, it was quite different. Um, I, I guess in my mindset, I remember reading and watching articles of segregation and the hatred and uh, treatment of people of color. And so I was very uh, leery and reluctant uh, about what I was looking forward to or what we really got ourselves into coming here. Let's talk about your advancements in the Madison County Sheriff's Department. When did it begin and just your advancement to the captain's position? Uh, I started uh, with Madison County Sheriff Office. Uh, Sher the late Sheriff Joe W. Patterson hired me in October 1987. And uh, that journey uh, um, started in the jail. Uh, the original jail located uh, 100 North South Square downtown at the Madison County Courthouse. So I started my career there. And I guess the work at the, that he seen from my stint there uh, I was transitioned from that jail. Uh, the jail was overcrowded. Uh, they uh, had to come up with a solution uh, due to the federal court uh, orders to uh, try to move some of the prisoners out of that jail. So they opened up the dealership at the complex that you now uh, is located. And um, I came with, uh, I guess it was a hundred some um, inmates that was located just uh, at this present location uh, for that temporary solution to overcrowding. And so I spent a short stint uh, at that location and uh, continuing to work at it. Uh, I was uh, recognized for being a hard worker, uh, being um, trustworthy, honest, and um, uh, gaining respect not only of the co-workers, but the uh, inmates that I was uh, uh, safeguarding. Okay. When did you uh, uh, advance to captain? Uh, I was promoted to uh, captain in uh, 2014. Okay. And what are some of the responsibilities you, you have to, uh, you have under your title? Um, at that particular uh, time frame, 2014, I was uh, the first uh, African American to hold uh, the position of captain over the Uniform Patrol Division, and um, Sheriff Dornan um, um, promoted me to that position, and wasn't sure how that opportunity, that promotion, was going to work out, and um, so from um, being in that position, the responsibility uh, I look at uh, what. Uh, what a good leader should be like and what a great law enforcement officer should be like. And I used my er early um, upbringing in contact with law enforcement to uh, let the community know there's always good law enforcement out, uh, officers out there. And you shouldn't be defined by the color of your skin, that you should be judged for uh, the work that you put in and how you serve the public. And so one of the first um, um, responsibilities was to rebrand the sheriff's office under um, my division and let the public know that um, transparency, accountability uh, under my leadership, that they could come um, to the sheriff's office with any issue and we will uh, un turn over every rock and regardless of that person's uh, color 
uh, what the situation is. Everybody was going to be treated equally and fairly. And we will deal with whatever um, uh, issues that was uh, complained about. Law enforcement has taken so many hits uh, over the last few years. What is the what makes you get up in the morning and come in as a as a, a sheriff in Madison County? Uh, for me, it's always about the community. From day one, uh, I always, even those under my uh, supervision. I ask them to remove their self from the equation. Then I also ask them, how will you treat, if it was your loved ones, how will you treat those? So for me, the, since the citizen embraced me as one of their own, I want to be a true representative where they can uh, call me on any issue and be there for them. So it's, the, it's no doubt have been from day one, the citizen that made me get up and do the right thing and give them the best service that we could give them out of the sheriff's office. Careers in law enforcement in 2024, would you recommend a young person to pursue a career in law enforcement, specifically with the Madison County Sheriff's Department? Uh, no doubt about it. Um, one of the uh, responsibilities when uh, I took on this job as the Uniform Patrol Division Captain, uh, I, I mentioned earlier about rebranding. We also was taking a turn about becoming accredited. And so being uh, at the time there was only two agencies in the state of Alabama that had that 2% gold standard what law enforcement agencies should be displaying. And that was uh, Chevy County and the Huntsville a City Police Department. And so as the Uniform Patrol Commander, it was my responsibility to, put, uh, in my sector, to help prepare those men and women to meet those guidelines, to meet that um, uh, credibility, what was this, the requirement that was expected uh, from that organization. What is the future like for you? Uh, after 37 years of service, it, it always been my desire. Um, uh, one of the main thing is leaving things better than what I found in this agency. And so uh, I've been uh, very blessed to ser uh, ask to serve on several uh, boards within the county government which had nothing to do with the Madison County Sheriff's Office. And one of the boards was diversity board to help uh, um, um, those individuals uh, to have the same opportunity as everyone else um, to find out how we can do better job um, closing that gap uh, in the diversity from promotion to hiring to training. Um, if we going to have that gold standard and with the growth and especially in 2024 as we see this county busting at the scene uh, due to growth, we want to make sure we have the best trained and best hired individual um, serving the people of our great county. Okay. One last question. Um, when people, when people, I mean, this area covers Madison and Huntsville, Alabama. Most people see Huntsville Police Department as far as the law enforcement in the city. Okay. But the Madison County Sheriff's Department has a larger footprint and more responsibility. They're in the courts, they're handling rural areas, they're even assisting ALEA in traffic situations. Does that make Madison County, being a Madison County Sheriff's Deputy, one that uh, really takes on a lot of tasks? Uh, and that's one of the things that I love about working for this sheriff office. Uh, been blessed to serve under um, four sheriffs, and uh, each one of those individuals had had something very similar in mind, and that was to uh, make sure the citizens get the best treatment and that the, the officers that we put out in the field uh, give the best service, the best training, uh, the very best equipment, and so uh, that come uh, from top of the leadership. You, you got to uh, leadership start from the top. And if the leaders, uh, if we're not doing the right thing for the citizens and for, and how can we expect our people to do the right thing for the citizen? And so all that come from, start from the top. Just like you wanted to come up, it start from the top. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.